So Halloween just weeks away and it marks the start of the major holiday season. But this year there are new questions around how to gather safely. Many people are vaccinated, but COVID still a concern. Tori Mason looking into this for us tonight and Tori experts say you still really have to be careful. Definitely, Karen, and a lot of people feel comfortable celebrating Halloween, and that's because of that vaccine. Now, COVID-19, it's very much still here. Health officials want us to know that, but they say it is possible to celebrate safely if we keep other people in mind. Hi there, I can get you right here. Customers inside the wizard's chest are still wearing masks, but many are shopping for one that covers your whole face. When people can't gather and people can't have fun in, in groups, then um, Halloween is going to suffer. Kevin Pulley says it's night and day compared to October 2020. Halloween sales are high earlier than usual. They are amped up this year. The CDC issued new guidance on how to celebrate holidays safely. Virtual celebrations are still suggested, but science has made in-person gatherings possible. Make sure everybody is vaccinated. Dr. Michelle Barron is UC Health's Director of Infection Prevention and Control. The key thing is to still be just really conscious of if you're traveling and there are going to be uh, lots of people that you're going to be around. She says breakthrough infections are rare, but they happen. It's important to be mindful of at-risk individuals you might see after the party's over. You don't want to put people in that kind of position where they don't know or you after the fact find out that you got somebody infected. People are excited to get scared, but no one wants to fear for their health. They want to do it this year. They're excited. So if you're the type of person to typically wait until the end of the month to find your Halloween costume, the owner here says this is not the year to do it. Like so many other businesses recovering, recovering, pardon me, from the COVID-19 pandemic, they are dealing with supply shortages as well. We're live in Denver, Tori Mason covering Colorado First.